All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to some more Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Um, so my original plan for today's stream was to play some Hitman 2, the next level, and then Mafia 2. But uh, to be honest, I'm not in the mood for either of those games right now. Probably pick those up later on, you know, ne uh, next week. Uh, just really wasn't in the mood to play either of those games, especially Mafia 2. I Mafia 2, the main the main game was a great game, still is a great game. However, the DLC, the DLC, it just frustrates me because it's all time based and there's not a whole lot of story so far. I'm hoping the next DLCs will be different. That's why I want to finish this DLC. They're working on right now, and then the next DLC hopefully be different. But uh, yeah, for right now, I just feel like veering away from that. Um. And I wanted to play Splinter Cell, and I might change up the programming a little bit and go and play some um, GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. Um, I love San Andreas. I'm, I kind of miss it right now, so I kind of want to play that. And uh, next week we'll be doing some more Walking Dead and things of that nature. But anyways, I have yapped long enough about that. I did go ahead and do Penthouse off stream to practice it. It's not that difficult of a mission. I 100%ed it. It was pretty straightforward. This place uh, is going to be a bit more challenging, but today we're, we're going to be doing the Penthouse. And I stop shouting out. <laughs> today we're doing the Penthouse. Let's get into it, shall we? Normal. So Zerkezi and Morganholt are the only two people who ever saw those algorithms. And Morganholt is dead. And Zerkezi is connected to a mystery guest we know nothing about. Devorah. Morganholt and Zerkezi are geeks, not terrorists. Maybe this Devorah is some kind of puppeteer. No hitter, bottom of the eight. 2-0, New York in the eight. Akira Watanabe is on the mound. He's pure concentration, pure focus. This is no coincidence. You're on your way to the Big Apple. How you doing, Anai? Bruce Morgan Holt and Abrahim Zakezi were partnered together on Project Watson. The UN committee that cracked the mass kernels. They're the ones who discovered 512 encryption. The same encryption used in the messages you recovered at MCAS Bank. If this so-called Dvorak person has somehow gotten his hands on mass-based IW algos, we're in a world of hurt. I've been trying to penetrate Zerkezi's private network since we connected him to this mess. I've seen some tough network security before, and I expected Zerkezi to have top-of-the-line tech, but this is crazy. Zerkezi's server isn't just impenetrable or invisible. It's like, it's like looking for a shadow in a pitch black room. It's driving me crazy. Things are turning sour in New York. It's been 24 hours since the blackout and no one has a clue when it might end. We've got sporadic reports of unrest all over Manhattan, but it hasn't started to spill over yet. Word coming down from above is that the National Guard will be deployed within the hour. We'll need to insert you into an alley behind a building adjacent to the target building. Watch out for civilians. All right, as you can, as you heard, we're in New York. There's been a blackout that's been going on for over 24 hours, so we got to investigate. This is a uh, matter for national security. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you, and they'll attack on sight. Not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. Shoot. Thank you for the uh, five stream streak, by the way, and I appreciate you, you big W. How are you doing? How's your Sunday? You have enough light down here? I think so. These barricade lights are battery operated, so they should be okay. Is someone moving around out there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. I'm creeping past these guys. These guys are National Guard. We don't want to mess with them. Uh-oh. I think we done deadly doodah screwed up. 
Yeah, we got caught doing great. Glad to hear that. Was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. Stupid damn thing is broken. Well, you know what they say. If you're going to mess up, get it out of the way early, right? Trying not to step into the light there. Get behind what the foot? Why did that guy walk into me like that? That's crazy. Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. It's okay. This is actually the tricky, the trickiest part. No, 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 you saw nothing. Shit. What was that? I saw something there. No, you didn't. What was that? Damn it. <clears throat> oh my lord, these guys are just crazy. Hang on, let me try something else. Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. Maybe I'm moving too quickly. Maybe that's why. Damn it! What's wrong with this? Down here? I think so. There we go. See? Shut that door for no reason whatsoever. But we made it. We're fine. We're good. Fisher, looks like the National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. That's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hit your ride. Be a long climb if you don't. I'll wait for this guy to get out of the way. See that? That? That's why I said that was tr the trickiest part. But you know, we got through it. Should be smooth sailing from here on in. Just gonna climb up this hatch. Go on, Sam. Dang it. Go, go, go. While he's working on the elevator, I'm going to climb. There are going to be guys up ahead that we take out, but I'd like to leave the National Guard alone. Here comes the elevator. There, now we don't have to climb so far. Keep walking, buddy. Let me hide in here. Oh, now you went to a party yesterday, didn't you? How was that? Now he's going that way, so I'm gonna creep along. Creeping. Should 
Shut the door behind me. We've got a helicopter over here making a ton of noise, so we don't have to worry about noise too much. Take out this sign to give me some cover. Here, I'm gonna shimmy. Come on. There we go. Fisher, satellite shows you breached the Casey's building. The county clerk's office has construction permits on file for floors below the penthouse and in the neighboring structure. Any plans or blueprints on file? I'll have Grim look into it, but with this blackout. I understand. I'll see if I can dig up some plans down here. Good idea. A lot of fun. Nice. He's no night watchman either. He's a merc. He's got the same kid as the guys who were protecting the surf. This whole situation is getting uglier by the second. See if you can find out who these characters were. Will do. Okay, and as you heard, we got mercs up here, so we're gonna interrogate this guy. What are you doing down here? <laughs> who the hell? Off to a bad start. Talk or die. Ah, okay. We're on VIP protection. This floor. We need to secure it because we can't lock it off from the penthouse. Does the architect or engineer keep an office or a desk down here? Yeah, of course. West side of the building. Since you're doing so well, why don't you tell me the name of the PMC you work for? I... Uh, I work for Displace. Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's company. I know. Fisher, if Shetland turns out to be crooked, if Shetland is crooked, I'll take him down myself. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. Could be. See if you can find out who's in charge of this protection detail. Maybe someone inside this place is playing both sides. You got it. Alright. Gonna leave Mr. Man to take a nap out there. Looks like our best friend might be, uh, dirty. We'll see. We gotta investigate further, though. Damn, look at this cut. Hmm. What cut? What are you That's talking about? Weird. Yes, it is weird. Why are you? Why are you coming over here? No, leave me alone. Homie's acting weird. Crap. You're darn right. There's nothing. Got a sleepy guy over here. One ninety four twenty and in forty doesn't mean thirty might be ten. Work permits, architectural plans. Interesting. Sir Casey has a hardened panic room off of his bedroom. I'll check it out. Looks like the Alto filed plans for construction in the next building over. The next building? I'm no architect, but if I'm reading these plans right, both buildings are connected across a rooftop. I'll leave the relevant data on your offset. Should help you navigate. Thanks. Fisher, Sir Casey's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. If it's an infrared beam, I can see it in my night vision. Exactly. And listen, it would help us keep tabs on Sir Casey if we could use these cameras against him. Gotcha. I'll try and run some taps. All right, we got some cameras to tap here. They'll still be able to see us, though. That's one camera tapped. There should be five more. I'll keep my eyes open. They're easy to spot. They all make that bleeping noise. Ah, uh, the our favorite running out of time. So. Switch 
Just so I can sneak by there. Another camera right there. I don't recognize you. How long have you been with this place? There's the beam. Exist. How are you? I'm going to interrogate that guy over there. First things first, going to run a tap. Still in the dark here, even though I look like I'm in the light. That's two out of six cameras. Someone's been messing with these cameras. What do you mean? Come back here. Stay quiet. It's a long way down to the street. Oh, God! Please! Don't! Sounds to me like you know who's in charge of VIP protection here. Yeah, it's Nedich! My love, Nedich! Is he in charge of the protection detail on the Morgan Holden pool as well? Yeah! Mylon handles all displaced VIP protection contracts. Well, he's not very good at it, is he? How you doing, Exist? Please don't throw me off this roof. Oh, that's tempting, though. I kind of want to throw you off the roof now. He doesn't even exist. Whoever he is, he's playing both sides. We need to inform Shetland. No can do, Sam. We can't compromise OPSEC for private Oh, dang it. Fine. If I find Nedich. It'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend. You said he doesn't exist. Yeah. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error. Just make sure that Mr. Man don't see me. All right. It's going through the vent. Nice and stealth like. I'll wait for him to go back that way and I'll just creep right behind him. It's what I do best. I'm creeping. We got two cameras in this room. One over here to the right. That's half the cameras now already. One more over here. Gotta do this quick before Mr. Man comes back. Good work, Fisher. That's four of six cameras tapped. I'll keep an eye out for the other. He's on his way back now. to turn around before I step back to the light. There we go. Now we're going up these stairs. Over here in the corner. Oh, 
one that way. Okay, already got that. One more camera this way. How long have you known him? Long time. Long time. It was before this place. It was before Bosnia. Before Bosnia? Good lord. I knew he had connections, but got one guy that's gonna head this way. Know him a long time. He treats us good, we do what he says. Yes. Yes, well, he sure treats us well. Now you know too. Now you work for him. Do what he says. Yes, well, certainly worth my while now, isn't it? More than worth your while. It'll keep you alive, man. Alright, so I can see this guy's coming this way. I want to say out of the way of the doors to not to arise, arouse suspicion. And should be clear to tap this camera right now. He should have shut the door on my way out, though. Good work on the camera, Sam. We'll have guys watching Zerkazy 24/7. Always happy to keep the stupid donut cameras. Donut we need better security. Who's freaking out about cameras right now? That's wild. He's occupied about something. I don't know what, but this is where we need to be right here. In this little panic room. Gotcha. Who? Dvorak. Where is he? According to this, he's in the building next door. You can get there across the rooftop through the magnetically locked doors. How do I get through the doors? They're not magnetically locked anymore. Thanks for the help. At least I'm never going to go through that other door. From that first camera. And go right behind this guy, he's gonna be totally unsuspecting. for him to turn around just to be on the safe side better safe than sorry I always say uh, I'm gonna wait for him to come back Just because I don't want him to head this way and then I'm in the light. There we go. Now we're good. I'll go back out through this vent. We will need to come back this way for extraction. But other than that, we will be going back just to extract. This time I'm gonna mess with this guy's radio. Typical. What's wrong now? I don't know, man. That radio seems like junk. I guess. Nothing here but ghosts and shadows. Somebody messed with the radio, though. But running out of time. Running out of time. Na, 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 na. Now we're going through this door.
And here's that magnetically locked door. Now there is a guy walking around out here. See him yet? There he is. I got a flashlight. I'm gonna need a sticky shocker up ahead. I'm the guy up there in the window. Up up here. And just to avoid some unpleasantness, I'm gonna disable this wall mine. As soon as it turns green. Now. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, buddy. You can just take a nap right there. Don't need the 556 five, ammo, but we'll take it. Nothing on this computer. Morale concerns. Uh... Oh, because of that'll be another way to find out who these guys work for. Interrogation is effective, though. Another wall mine here, but we don't need to worry about it. Let's go through the coral space. Get to crawling. Go downstairs and we're in with the Vorak. You must be Dvorak. Yes, nope. Um, uh, well, Dvorak, huh? I had thought this area was well uh, off limits. You're not Dvorak. Well, um, since we're being blunt, well, no. Then who are you? Such a rush you're in. Hmm. Fancy some tea, do you? Lambert, something weird is happening. I'll say. What do I do? The old man seems harmless. Indulge him. See if he knows anything. Reminds me of poor old Jiggers. <laughs> oh, Jiggers. Jiggers. We hardly know ye. Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, well, one might ask you the same. I'm looking for a man named Dvorak. Ah, Dvorak, yes! <laughs> well, you're not going to find one. <laughs> this way! Uh, what? Ah, <laughs> yes, here we are then. This is Dvorak. Jeez. I think I just figured out why you couldn't hack in here, Grim. Uh, yeah, no kidding. What the hell do I do now? Uh, hold on while I find a slide boom. See what the old man knows, Fisher. Okay. If this is Dvorak, who are you? Um, I am Dvorak's keeper. Thank you most kindly for asking. And what is this, this Dvorak? Dvorak is, well, you likely wouldn't understand. I'm sure you're right. But let's have it for the record anyway. Dvorak is a mechanical representation of a self-referential axiom of number theory. 
Vorak encodes its own logical structure within its own executable cycle and recursively derives a more accurate representation of itself with each successive execution. Right. Grim, did you get that? My god, it's an infinite state machine. Fine. What do I do? If Sir Casey is using this... Grim. Sorry, uh, Sam, we're gonna need a copy of Dvorak's output so we can work out the algorithm it's built on. How do I get its output? It runs on punch cards. Punch cards? Punch cards. You'll need to restart the sequence and initialize each tower in the right order, and then retrieve the output stack. How do I know the right sequence? You'll need to hit the switches in order as the tubes start to heat up. Ask the old man for help. I need your help. Indeed. What can I help you with, my good fellow? I need you to help me initialize the Vorak so I can retrieve an output stack. Ah, Dvorak. Well, that is certainly something I can help with. <laughs> Why don't you restart it? I'll initialize the towers on this side, <laughs> and you can do the other side. Okay, seems simple enough. So we just start it over here. And as each one lights up, we gotta interact with it. Here we go, first one. And then he'll do the next one. And I'll do this one. Next one's on him. Next one's on me. Next one's on him again. I think this is the last one here. Oh. Never mind. All right, I got the stack. Here we go. Good work, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Get to your primary extraction point. On my way. All right, that's it. Oh, if you see Jiggers, tell him I miss him. I don't know who Jiggers is. Bye, sir. Good boy. Adios, amigos. Yeah, let's just leave that wall man alone. to the shadows. What was that? Nothing. Get out of here right now. Bye. That man's getting trolled. This guy's gonna get trolled one more time. It's gonna be the light again. I can definitely see something. Show yourself. You s all you saw was the light go out, man. It's all good. It's just malfunctioning. It'll come back on in a few. See. Running out of time. Go back through this vent again, it's nice and stealthy. Oh, perfect, he's coming back this way, we'll follow him again. Creeping. 
Just creep in right behind this guy. I'm gonna go back into this little alcove, and then once he turns around again, I'll take out this camera so I can extract. Bye! And we're out of here. Mission complete. Got the archive plans. Adopt all the cameras. Discover who's in charge of Zerkazy. Uh, we got this. We got to Zerkazy's penthouse. Access Zerkazy server. I know who the mercenaries work for. Locate Dvorak. Retrieve a hard copy output. And exfiltrate. 100% stealth. We took out three enemies. Uh, took a couple of tries at the start, but you know, as if you can uh, do it the way I did the last attempt, wait for the first guy in the beginning to turn around, then take out the light, you should be good to go. So go ahead and quit for now, because the next mission we have is actually in this place. We're going to investigate this place since we found out that those mercs work for this place. So I'll do the, that practice off stream. I do remember this level being very tricky, so we'll have that to deal with. I do want to try and continue um, not saving as a challenge to myself, but we shall see about that. I'm going to go ahead and switch games over to San Andreas. So I'm going to end stream for that purpose. And then I'll be right back once San Andreas is up and running. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. God bless. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.